there's a few reasons I moved to Arizona from New York. I guess the main reason is just the weather. It's uh, can't stand the winter. You know, it's a few months out of the year where you just skate indoor parks, have to pay and wear a helmet and all the travel an hour to get to a decent skate park. And I'll deal with all the snow and all that. So um, winter's perfect out here. Right now it's December. It's like 75 degrees every day. It's sunny. I like the scene out here. Every time I come out here, I never want to go back home. So the perfect spot for me to move out here. You know, a nice change of pace. My nationality is um, half Peruvian and half British. I love Arizona so far. Yeah, it's been about a month, so um, I don't have a job now, so I have a lot of free time, I guess you could say. So just a lot of uh, skating, a lot of outdoors stuff. We've been hiking a couple times, you know, bike riding. Uh, just out doing like, just learning the area and everything. It's been nice, I like it a lot. Out here in Arizona, especially all the spots are different. You know, it's a lot of banks, ditches. You know, you don't have that stuff back in New York too, so it's kind of cool. It's like skate park spots, but on a street basis, so it looks nice, you know. Uh, it's really fun. Everything's all unique. All the ditches out here are all unique. And uh, you can't really find any other spots like that anywhere else, really. I guess I don't really have too many goals with skating, just have fun with it. That's a tough one. I think it, um, it goes back and forth. I go to different phases. I like video more. Or I like photos more. Obviously, like when I was shooting, like a the past year or two, when I was shooting the truth videos, I like video more. I got the uh, 5D. It opened like a whole new world to shooting video. You know that you couldn't really do with like HVX or anything like that. So uh, that was mad fun. But I go in and out of phases. You know, sometimes I like shooting photos more. I get into like a like a lighting. Frenzy, I guess, and like shooting photos, it's more along those lines. So uh, I go in and I really don't really have a preference to which I like more. It's just, I guess, it depends on the situation. I just like to see high quality videos and products put up from the best people who should be doing it in the industry. I like seeing, I guess, like a Dominic Sagona edit, like a half escape promo, stuff like that. It's, it just looks better, I guess, if like people like outside our eyes would take a look at like what we think like our main websites would be, like our media outlets, and it's just like a bunch of like random edits, like shot, you know, GL footage, and it looks all crappy and just doesn't look nice. It looks better. Everybody getting into the HD phase now too, it looks more professional. The skaters again, they're like, you know, like photography and videography on, everyone's like doing their thing now. It's a lot different than it was a few years ago. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, better quality media for everyone to see for outsider eyes to make us look better. I like, you know, just a better quality production and everything. And um, I like how, like back in the day, they had the hoax tours going around the country, where it was just like the best skaters in the world packed in the van, driving around the country doing demos and all this. The best way to get people to start skating is to watch it firsthand. I think of, uh, you know, it's like doing like a tour like once a year, or twice a year, or whatever. Just getting a couple like the best skaters in a van, like five skaters driving around the country, you know, doing demos at malls in the public. So like everyone can get together from like the town, like, you know, people bring their kids out, you know, and uh, check out a public area to see just a bunch of kids going crazy on ramps, you know, good in airs and all this stuff. It's really impressive with little kids. I think it's like a good way to get new skaters involved. This is Austin Paz and you watch me on the spot. <laughs>